Uh, do you know that thing sometimes you've got your, your, like, you know, your iPod or MP3 player on? Have you ever got into a lift and you don't realise it's way too loud and everyone can hear? <laughs> I got into a lift at, um, I think it was like Tufnell Park, one of them London tube stations, and um, Cher, I found someone, came on. <laughs> and, uh, and I suddenly just became aware that people were giggling in the lift. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I took it off and everyone was laughing, I realised I could hear it, put it back on, forgot about it, I told my mate that story about two days later. The day after I got a call from him saying, mate, have you read, this was like a few years ago when there was loads of free papers that suddenly came out in London. And he said, have you read like the London Light today? I was like, no. He goes, check the sort of like, I've seen you on the tube type thing. And, I, and there was like a sort of thing where people would say like, oh, I fancied you. There was a, somebody said to the guy who was at like Tufnell Park on, in the lift, cheers for cheering us up with your rubbish music tape. <laughs> 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 it was horrible. I once got on a carriage, uh, a tube carriage and went, why is this tube carriage entirely empty? And there was a man who was sat and he had his penis hanging out. <laughs> and he was drinking a can of cider. And he was peeing at the same time. <laughs> and at fir my first reaction was, ugh. But my second reaction was, how is he managing that? Yeah. <laughs> really quite incredible, really. It's like some sort of water feed. Yeah. Though, isn't it? <laughs> I love a gay disco. Yeah, oh, my does? God. Of course you do. Hanging yeah. out with the gays, it's great yeah. fun. They basically, they get me off the telly and they use me like a big meat laminate to get into <laughs> any room they want in a gay disco. <laughs> so all the lads in the car, so, oh, we got Phil with us. And they like that. <laughs>